on board the RV Resolution in the Boston Harbor. We've come here to see for ourselves how the Bluefin AUV operates. AUVs like the Bluefin 21, they're, they're the tool you would use to conduct a wide area side scan survey in ultra deep water. Will O'Halloran is a marine operations engineer for Bluefin Robotics, which designs and builds these autonomous underwater vehicles in Quincy, Massachusetts. If this were a mission, a real mission, what would it be doing? So the next thing that would happen is the radio instructions would be received to, the, to that red antenna there. The vehicle would say, okay, I'm gonna start this mission. The propeller would spin up and then it would die. Here in the Boston Harbor, the water is only about 40 feet deep, which is easily manageable for the bluefin because this autonomous vehicle is used to working in depth several miles below the surface. The Bluefin 21 can dive about two and a half miles, but Flight 370's wreckage in the Indian Ocean may be deeper than that. It takes about two hours for the Bluefin to reach the bottom, where it can operate for another 16 hours. It scans the ocean floor as if it's mowing a lawn using side scan sonar, which identifies objects that stand out from the seabed. When it's working with the side scanners, it's not actually taking pictures, right? It's, no. it's measuring sound. Correct. What it's doing is it's, it's actually, it's converting sound to electricity and then, and then turning that elect electrical value into a uh, numerical value, which then turned into an image. When it returns to the surface, scientists download the sonar data to computers. The results may look something like this. And what we're looking at here, for example, this is a shipwreck in Boston Harbor. So you can see how it's different than the area around it. You can see there's a parts of the steam engine right there. And if something catches their eye, the Navy will send down a high resolution camera on the Bluefin 21. It can take black and white photos covering about 15 square miles a day. It's a slow process, moving at just three nautical miles per hour, only made worse by horrendous conditions, freezing temperatures, mountainous terrain, and complete darkness. But even diving blind, there is much hope the Bluefin 21 AUV will see something. Randy Kay, CNN, Quincy, Massachusetts.